Back to the phone lines, David, he's listening in Iowa. Hi, David. Hello, Hank. How are you? I'm well, thank you. God bless you and your ministry. It's wonderful. Thank you. Hank, my question is, I, I, I hear the preachers preach the rapture, and I hear uh, there's a certain preacher that's on in early morning here in my area that uh, preaches that there will not be a rapture. We all must stand as a witness for Christ. So, uh, and he mentions that the rapture theory was brought to light back in the 1830s or something like that, but so many preachers today are preaching the rapture, and some are not. And I'm just, I'm, I don't know whether to believe it or or not, because I hear so many different theories on it. Well, I think what you have to do is make a further qualification and say the pre-tribulational rapture theory. And it is true that that theory is a 19th century idea, unheard of prior to the 19th century. Now, there are some who say that what I'm saying right now is incorrect, but I have done the research and it is absolutely ironclad and correct. In fact, Harry Ironside, I believe it was, who believed in the pre-tribulational rapture, he was very clear in terms of admitting that though he believed in a pre-tribulational rapture, he couldn't find it anywhere in church history prior to the popularization that was done on it by John Nelson Darby. And the bottom line is that there's not a single verse nor collection of verses that can be used to underscore the biblical notion or the notion that the pre-tribulational rapture is biblical. I've written about this in detail in many different places, including in my book, Afterlife, in an entry, which is available through the Ministry of the Christian Research Institute. If you want to hang on, we can send you some of that information. 